Hi everyone. I wanted to talk to you today about, well I had an email from uh, somebody last week who is doing really well in their recovery. They've worked really, really hard um, and they're kind of following meal plans, etc. Working really hard to kind of maintain that and sort of getting close to their sort of uh, goal weight. But she said to me, I'm really scared. I'm really worried that because, you know, I still don't feel comfortable. It still feels like um, a battle. Um, I'm still not happy with how I look. I'm still scared about, you know, increasing the weight. Will this always be with me? What do I do? How, how do I feel better? And so I thought it's a really, you know, I remember feeling exactly the same way. And I know I've mentioned this before, but it is so important, so I will say it again. Um, and I know that I felt myself, and I know a lot of people do, that, and it, don't get me wrong, it's great um, steps that you're making when you can keep to your, your meal plan and your, you know, you're eating your three meals and your three snacks a day and keeping all that up, because that is bloody hard work. Um, you know, and you're kind of, you know, restoring that weight, um, and it is incredible. And I, you know, take my hat off to all of you for for doing that, because it's no mean feat. But in order to kind of to really feel good about everything, in order to really recover, in order to so it doesn't stay with you forever, so you can let it go, is by dealing with the root cause. Now, I, I spoke in a, in a school to some year 12 students the, the other day, and I was talking to them about sort of typical kind of causes, and the thing is there's no one cause of an eating disorder, and it can be a combination of a few things, but, certain things that do kind of um, influence or can influence an eating disorder is things like, you know, childhood issues primarily, you know, so abuse in childhood, and that doesn't have to be sort of uh, physical, that can be emotional, verbal, um, it can even be neglect, um, bullying, teasing, you know, comments being made, um, about you when you were at school, um, you know, might not even been about your appearance, but just as who you are. And the practically all the clients that I've worked with have had um, experiences of being bullied or teased in, in that area. Um, sexual identity issues, you know, the LGBT um, plus community, there's a higher percentage of people with eating disorders. Family relationships, you know, sort of, you know, issues with mom and dad, siblings, um, you know, if there's step families going on, you know, home life is difficult. Um, they can all have an influence on how we're feeling. The death of someone close, obviously, that's going to have a detrimental effect um, for for somebody. Um, you know, puberty, that's. You know, it's really, really difficult when, you know, kind of for those of you that, you know, sort of might be that bit older like myself, I still remember puberty being a really, really tough time for me. Um, you know, lots of body changes, hormones and emotions racing all over the place. Um, you know, trying to find my kind of place in the world, thinking I was really grown up, you know, uh, when I really wasn't. But it's a really sort of trying time, and um, you know it's it's hard. That it feels like a lot of change, and obviously, and around that time as well, a lot of people transfer from primary school to high school, and you know, and that's sort of like you go from you know being the big fish, big fish in a small pond, to kind of like being a small fish in this massive pond, and that really has an effect on people as well um, and obviously sort of like you know pressures to do well at school um, 
and that but the thing is is that although I'm talking about kind of childhood stuff if we don't deal with those things from childhood then they stay tend to stay with us forever and they run our lives you know if we don't let go of them thinking you know well that was just me as a child and this is what happened but hey ho let it go those things we they'll stay with us forever um you know and and i remember always being sort of you know, I had a lot of food issues, always kind of been called like the picky to the fussy eater. And, you know, I had a lot of body image issues and, um, you know, I sort of like I had comments made to me about what I looked at, looked like. And even a friend's dad called me top heavy at one point when I was 15. And, um, you know, and obviously I felt very sort of judged about how I, how I looked. Um, and that had the influence, but I carried that with me, you know, all of these different issues I carried with me and they affected my life going forward and hence, you know, sort of like it influenced the eating disorder. So to answer the question, will it always be with me? Will it stay with me forever? I don't believe that it will if you deal with those issues. Now, I'm not saying it's easy to go back and to deal with those issues. I'm not saying it is at all, because, you know, you've been sort of hanging on to them for a long time and stuff, but that's what needs to be done. And that's what I help my clients work through. And that is what gets the best results and the best transformation not only in terms of the eating disorder and the progress of the you know recovery but also in every aspect of you know my clients lives you know in terms of their confidence and an outlook and positivity and you know body image and and all of that so there is possible for you to let it go but you have to get to that stuff you can't it's Although following the meal plan and, you know, restoring weight is a good place, you know, and it's definitely a step in the right direction, you really need to deal with the root cause as well. Stacey, thanks for joining me. I can see you watching. You said, um, that's me. Sorry, I didn't follow what, um, do you want to elaborate which, which is you? What, I can't remember which. I've said quite a few things through this, if you can let me know which one applies to you. Because, and that's, you know, I think that covers a lot of, a lot of people. And, you know, and it's not just, you know, um, girls, you know, boys and can experience this. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what race you are, what gender you are. Anybody can be affected by this family issues. Yeah, it's really difficult, isn't it? Because the thing is, because family is kind of like the closest um, people that we have to us, either whether it's sort of like as a child, and obviously particularly as a child, we're very vulnerable, you know, and it doesn't take a lot for us to feel sort of unsafe. Um, and that, and you know, often people talk about trauma you know, and often when trauma is, is, you know, when you think about trauma, it needs, you know, you think of this big event, this big thing that's happened. But as a child, you know, you only need to be sort of shouted at for it to be, feel quite traumatic because you're only, you know, you're only little and you're, you're very vulnerable. And so it's going to have a big impact on you. And so, yeah, and, and if you have family issues, sort of like within, as an adult, within the family that you kind of have around you now, you know, although, you know, sort of like you're not a child anymore, things can still affect you, they can still have an influence on you, and they can still make you not feel okay. And, you know, and it's, you know, there's been a lot about mental health awareness, it's, you know, Mental Health Awareness Week, and, you know, and what I would say to you is it really is mental health, it comes from all that negativity, all that shit in your head that has been bottling up. And so 
you know, I know lots of people say it, but it really is okay to say that you're not okay, that you're struggling, that you, you know, that you're not feeling good, that you're not happy, that you're, you know, you're troubled by something, you know, really is okay because you know, you might feel that you need to be strong. You might feel like, oh, they've got their own stuff and I don't want to be a burden to them and that, but it really will come and bite you on the ass if you don't reach out and, you know, if you keep sort of trying to bottle it up and stay strong and you'll just keep holding on to it, holding on to it and it'll get worse and worse and worse. So, Stacey, have you got any questions for me? Anything you want to share? Um, I am absolutely loving today. It is gorgeous and sunny. I think it's rain, rain is due tomorrow. So, and I had a cancellation um, today. So I made the most of it and I had a little sit in the garden whilst working, of course. Um, so um, yeah, so I've had a, a, a lovely day, lovely, uh, lovely sunny day. A shitty week and it's only Tuesday. Oh. It's horrible, isn't it, when that... But hopefully, Stacey, you got the shittiness out of the way and it can only get better from here. And I really hope that um, that it does get better for you. Bless you. Um, obviously, I'm always here if you want to chat. We had a car accident yesterday and took... Oh my gosh, really? Is, is everybody okay, though? Like, as in health, I mean... You know sounds like the minivan isn't great and it's kind of you know that's not great but is everybody okay health wise no it was in a you know nobody had any to sort of major physical damage oh that's awful that and that's that's really that can really shake you up as well we're okay okay and they were the kids with you were they okay oh bless you Sending lots of love and hugs. You've had a, you've had so much going on, bless you. But you know I'm always here. I'm, I'm always here for chat and uh, and stuff. So uh, they were home. Oh, that well, that's a blessing. Then that's good. Okay, so um, Stacy, get in touch if you if you want to chat or anything, please. And um, to everybody else um, who's watching on the recording. Thanks for joining me and um, if you've got any questions, any comments, please feel free to put them underneath uh, and get in touch if you, uh, if you need any help, any support. All right, take care, enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you again next week. All right, take care, lots of love, bye.